I don't remember exactly where we were the first time I viewed the Earth, but I remember getting out of the spacesuits in the mid deck of the space shuttle and then floating back up and then having a chance to actually get my full view out the window to get close to the window in the view of the earth and uh, what struck me was that just the overall beauty of the planet and specifically with the, uh, the the blues of the oceans and the whites of the uh, of the cloud formation I put a high priority on photography and video out the window uh, of the Earth. You see things at a different scale, and uh, I think you can grow in your appreciation for what the Earth has to offer to support our livelihood, to support civilizations. And now we can see it in a global scale and maybe grow in our appreciation of those things that are unique um, uh, to Earth. To view the Earth from space, of course, especially from a photographer's point of view, it's a target-rich environment. The ocean currents and the vastness of the oceans, and in particular in sun glint, the cloud formations and other weather patterns are a never-ending variety. Uh, the different landforms that you have uh, show themselves in different ways. Forested areas are much different than plains. Agriculture stands out. You can see elements of, of the culture and the history of the area just through the patterns of, of agriculture. Sand dunes became one of my favorite um, uh, things to take pictures of. You also have the, the, uh, the evidence of civilization and, uh, and habitation on the earth. Every sunset, every sunrise is unique, in, uh, in especially in its uh, patterns of, of cloud formations uh, that the sun sets or rises from behind. When you finish and you're back on the earth, the memories diminish quickly. So to capture the memories, to be able to bring back the experience to others and viewing this planet, now we can see it in a global scale and maybe grow in our appreciation of those things that are unique to earth.